Welcome to Threadlife Stadium here in New York, home of the Tyrant. Well, they really cleaned up Times Square, huh? I kind of missed the sea of wandering zombies and the stench of the open zombie landfills. And they had this nice all-you-could-shoot zombies in a barrel arcade, I remember. Yeah, that was in a good old days, Grim. Now it's just a tourist attraction. Paint shows and organized crime. <laughs> Today's matchup is going to be a good one. The teams are taking the field. The Philadelphia Eagles go up against the New York Tyrants. Welcome to NFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. <laughs> <laughs> it's time to tune in, turn on, and drop what you're doing because NFL Game Day is on the air. Hi, everyone. Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. So, what's the game plan for the home team today, Bricks? Uh, I think they gotta keep it simple. A little cough syrup, maybe smoke a little untidy pod pregame so they can keep their heads in the game. I mean, literally. You don't want to get decapitated on the opening kickoff. I say go after the rest early and often. No mercy. And an eight-yard gain on that one. Like when Bricks' mom decided to move back in with us. Second down and two. Stud bricks. Yeah, telling me. Nice run. No, I mean he's a real stud. He works at the mutant stud farm weekends and summers. <laughs> and they run it for a couple of yards. And that'll be second and eight to go. First and ten. And picks up maybe a deuce at most. Uh, speaking of deuces, I got a... Uh, <clears throat> hey, you got a dollar for the bathroom attendant? He threatened me if I didn't tip him next time. Scrambler. First down and one. That, my friends, was an all pro NFL hit. Second down and six. Oh, the strawberry field's dirty trick. As my mentor Hunter used to say, I don't advocate drugs, alcohol, narcotics, or insanity to anyone, but they've always worked for me. Warming up. Oh, mama! He just knocked him into the next time zone. Once he finds his head, he'll be okay. It's not short, but this one shouldn't give the kicker any trouble. Unless he collapses under pressure and never makes another kick again. Hmm. That's bleak, Bricks. Straight through the uprights. They need a good return here to set up the offense. 
Looks like he'll be able to run this one back if he's not terrified for his life. He is, but he's got no choice. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. And it's first and ten. This is your brain, and this is your nice kick. Oh, holy Montezuma's revenge. That's a crap your pants and die tackle. Oh, that Montezuma was very vengeful, wasn't he, Briggs? Wonder what made him so mad. Yeah, it was probably all the diarrhea. Yeah, you're probably right. Yeah, they probably ran out of toilet paper when he was in some all-inclusive resort, and he just got so mad and cursed everyone who came to Mexico forever to crap their pants. Huh. Sounds like he didn't really think it through, because, you know, he should have made it specifically for the owners of the inclusives, but they're not the guests. What the fuck are you talking about? I don't really know right now. What day is it? And it's first and ten. Nowhere. Oh, that's like being at the hotel bar every night. Hey, maybe you need a better opening line than you want to see the teeth growing out of the roof of my mouth? What? The book How to Pick Up Girls and Tell Them Something You Need to Watch Yourself. That's unique. Oh, what a sack there. I heard this guy likes to play with soft balls. He's going to play with crushed balls from here on out. Oh, 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 Well, they couldn't pick up a first down, so now they have to punt. He boomed that one. Let's see if they can get a return. He's got the ball now and is going to try and score. Oh, and he looks like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. Yeah, sounds like my offseason. And it's first and ten. down and we've got to pick up at least half of this man what a hit that was we've got a nail biter at the end of one than the baby resulting from an orcish family reunion. Well, just when I thought only noobs would go for it on fourth for no real reason, they convert. But did they just get really lucky? Stay tuned. And it's first and ten. Oh, 
Oh, with the brutal hit. Second down and five. In a fight between King Kong and Godzilla, the player on Roid Rage would win. And he's able to grab that one somehow and hold on for the first down. This guy has a nice set of hands, Grim. It's the third set of hands he's had so long today. Looks like it's a good fit. Touchdown! Oh, he ran through those defenders like a greased turkey. Actually, he does have some turkey skin wrapped on his backside from that bad burn he had last year. Hey, oh, game up, man. I can't. Come on, I got to get on out. Get on out. Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. Straight through the uprights. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck off. That was just a one-time thing. First and ten. The ground game should be their bread and butter. A gain of eight right there. Hey, anyone seen that Korean kid yet with my barbecue? Last time I ordered Korean, I got Kim Jong Il. Second down and two. They're going for two here. And he gets into the end zone for the conversion. See that boom, baby? I'm the greatest. No, you didn't see that. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five! <laughs> and it's first and ten. That's the way to move the chains. That's good for a first down. This game is all about momentum and killing. And it's first and ten. He's supercharged and can electrocute any opposing. They get their hands up and block a pass. Second down and ten. when it feels like to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. If I had all my teeth knocked out like that, I'd have them made at the dice, Grim. It'd be fun to gamble with my own teeth. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Two-minute warning sounds. Time to get a beer. Hey, 
Get me one, too. Second down and ain't gonna happen, partner. Oh, what a punishing hit that was. And that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size. Cause each smart move there is topping the clock with their first time out. And for all you know, maybe he's just stalling or wiring the ref some cash. Third down and the offense needs a miracle. He earned those points on the heels of an epic run. Ah, don't call things epic, Chris. Kids aren't going to think you're cool no matter what you do. Junior, I don't want kids to think I'm cool. Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. First and ten. A good run for five yards. Hey, didn't move the change of score, did it? How good can it be? And they stop the clock with their first time out to try and stay in this game. Oh, nice coaching move there. Hall of Fame caliber. Well, I mean, it's a pretty standard coaching move at this point of the game. I won't listen to this blast for me. A pickup of about three on that play. Quarterback is controlling the clock right now like the clock is into it. He just clock blocked the clock. Third and two. And that's how you shock the monkey. Thunderclap. And the offense goes into a hurry-up to pick up the pace of the game. First down! Give this guy a few catches and watch his confidence take off. He is deadly in the open field, Bricks. The quarterback just used his final timeout. Let's see what they come up with on the next play. And the quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense and calls all the plays from the line of scrimmage from here on out. He grabs it and picks up four on that reception. Second down and six. Oh, a great catch, and he picks up a new set of downs. And it's first and ten. And I'm not sure who he was throwing to on that play. Most kickers should be able to make this one. But will this kicker make it? Find out next time. Uh, MFL. He's got the distance, and the kick is good! The teams are lined up for the kickoff. He sets up for the return. Let's see if he can break one wide open. And he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. The second quarter comes to a close as the teams head for the locker room, and we take you to halftime. Brought to you by Monsatan Industries. We make genetically engineered food that is to die for. And these guys are neck and neck to begin the third quarter. You talking about that two Siamese twins playing opposing tackles? Yeah, yeah they're putting on a hell of a show. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Seriously, man, you think you go toe-to-toe -to -toe with me? You get my grill, I'll ruin your world. Ruin it. When you get knocked down, you gotta get right back up and fight. Yeah, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. Oh, 
sure now he catches him. I had this guy on my fantasy team last week. I lost so much money on him, not to mention my kneecaps. My loan shark is very anal about collecting my money on time, Grim. And that was a bone crusher right there, folks. And it's first and ten. Drills one in for the first down. And it's first and ten. Well, he just heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a peck ahead. Catch the ball, asshole. Second down and ten. Gets three yards on that run. And that'll bring up third down and seven. It's not short, but this one shouldn't give the kicker any trouble. Unless he collapses under pressure and never makes another kick again. Hmm, that's bleak, Bricks. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double-stop burrito from Tuck. You gotta be fucking kidding me. If that's a penalty, they should come up here and penalize us, too. Hey, please don't give these refs any ideas, you idiot. Rev, I just match. On it. Man, this coach must have... And the offense jumps off sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not going to take it anymore. Yeah. And they'll line up for the punt here. Nice punt. Should move him back nicely. And he's got a chance for a good return here. That, my friends, was an all-pro NFL hit. And it's first and ten. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. And it's first and ten. with a boat all grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. They've called a zap attack. The ball carrier. There's no reason to drop the ball if you're still alive. The defense comes up with the ball. He's rumbling and stumbling. He could go all the way. Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. The kick is good! As expected, those are pretty much just guineas. 
Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. And it's first and ten. A nice catch for five yards. Second down and five. One time when I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. Thought I saw my grandparents waving at me in the light. Turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into, and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face. Just follow the bloody footprints to the new line. That's a first down. And it's first and ten. Don't you just love the sound of bones snapping and cracking? I mean, when they're not yawn. Second and three. The defense didn't give an inch. No gain on that play. Third down and three. And he reels that one in for a first down to keep the drive alive. First down and one. And he runs it in for the touchdown. I would uh, think it'd stay on the other side of the booth, Bricks. <laughs> They're going for two points. Bam! Gutsy run for the conversion. You know, with orcs, we'll never be the strongest. With robots, we'll never be the smartest. With aliens, we'll never be the fastest. <laughs> but I will be damned if we don't have the best moves. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. First and ten. Oh, he just got crushed. That's the end of three, and it's anyone's game. Hang on tight. The fourth quarter is about to begin. And it's first and ten. Don't give the fans any ideas. The commission already spends all day on Twitter shooting down rumors. Second down and ten. And he picks up eight yards on a strong run. Third and two. Nicely done for a first down. And it's first and ten.
And that pass play is good for eight yards. Second down and two. And into the end zone for a touchdown. Once he got his hands on that pass, he was off to the races. And here comes the extra point attempt. right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. And that's a returnable ball. Returnable? You mean he can get a refund for it? No, no, Bricks. It means he can return it for... You know what? Never mind. First and ten. The Roid Rage dirty trick transforms a player into a rampaging lunatic for the group. And he's off to the races. He's hit the 40. The 30. The 20. The 10. Touchdown! At some point, they're going to need to put this rip out of his misery. Uh, how about now, for instance? Here's a hit. Dirty tricks attack the ref. <laughs> First down and long. Offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. First down and forever. And the defense calls a Strawberry Fields dirty trick. Now this takes me back to those crazy days of my youth, Bricks. <laughs> Good times. Married a little Swedish midget, lived in a sweat lodge for about a year. Well, at least the, I think that's what I did. Second down, and we've got to pick up at least half of this. Defense gave up a lot of yards on that pass play. They'll need to regroup quickly. Third down, and the QB is saying his prayers. and watch his confidence take off. He is deadly in the open field, Bricks. And it's first and ten. down and five. The defense better watch out. The quarterback just threw a murder ball. And he snags it for six. Touchdown! Touchdown! Should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. Straight through the uprights. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck off. That was just a one time thing.
And it's first and ten. extra point but you never know with kickers <laughs> it goes right through yeah like a double stop burrito from taco hell the home crowd isn't impressed with that showing but their team has a chance to respond What is this, 80s wrestling? And it's first and ten. I think the defenders are scared of this guy, Bricks, and they have every right to be. Yes, he's a murderer! I will kill an old fellow. And they take their first time out. Well, how predictable. Surprise us next time. Call the time out there in halftime. The offense wants to speed things up, so it signals a hurry up. Oh, he's going berserk. The ball carrier better watch out, because if he gets hit, he is dead. Boom! And like the Titanic, his ship just went down. Hey, hey I almost got that mutant bingo. All I need is 77 to bite it. First and ten. And the D takes their second time out, hoping for a miracle. I witnessed a miracle once. A player was brought back from the dead. That's not a miracle, partner. That's just how the MFL works. It's about a three-yard pickup. Or the offense, Bricks. That's that's the important part. They're down in eight. And the quarterback finds his man for the first down. And this is going to be a rocket shot to the moon. The Tyrants are defeated and walk away losers. They battled hard, but still got their butts handed to them. Gross. I hope there weren't any orc butts involved. I kind of like orc butts, especially with some Dijon mustard and a smoked pickle relish. Not bad living. Let's go down to the field and see what the game's MVP thinks of today's outcome. Hey, man. I was hanging on the now. You know Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. and all the folks at Evil SN want to thank you for watching this presentation of the Mutant Football League. Today's game was brought to you by the Hexon Oil Corporation. We drill it, spill it, and kill it so you...